Welcome back, fellow explorers of the bizarre and enigmatic. Today, prepare to be immersed in a tale that blurs the line between myth and reality, where the extraordinary meets the unbelievable. Our journey takes us into the depths of ancient history, where legends intertwine with the fossilized remains of prehistoric giants. Join me as we unravel the chilling mystery of the satanic frog that ate dinosaurs. Yes, you heard it right. We're diving deep into the realm of paleontology and folklore to uncover a story that will send shivers down your spine and ignite your curiosity like never before. So, buckle up, because this is not your average history lesson. Get ready to embark on an adventure that will challenge everything you thought you knew about the world's past. Let's delve into the unknown together and discover the secrets that lie beneath the surface of time. If you discovered yourself stranded on an island retreat to Madagascar 70 million years ago, you'd swiftly recognize that it was a paradise brimming with fears, where predatory theropods and swift Nodosuian roamed freely, this might prompt you to seek safety in the water instead of the land, but this would likely be an error bringing more trouble than respite, as the Cretaceous seas in Madagascar harbored not just sharks and croc-like reptiles, but also the sole frog known to sever fingers, the belligerent buo. Scary name, meaning and discovery. This frog defies all norms we are acquainted with today and possesses a title that befits its menacing visage. Asal Abfo draws inspiration from Zab, a prominent demon in religious texts whose name signifies demon, lord of the flies, or even Satan. Yet despite its foreboding name, Zab's discovery was rather unremarkable when it first surfaced on Earth in 1993 within the May Verano Formation. It was promptly shelved due to the holotype being highly fragmentary, and for 14 years, it lay concealed from the world, gathering dust, until sufficient fossils and data were amassed by scientists, enabling them to finally unveil the world to Asil Abfo and Pinga, now more commonly referred to as the Demon Frog or the Infernal Armored Frog. In the ancient world, the phenomenon of body size captured attention thanks to its distinct features, extraordinary physiology and magnitude. Its sheer size was particularly astonishing, initial estimates suggesting adults could weigh over 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms, with a length of 42.5 centimeters or 16.7 inches from snout to vent. This placed mature Beal of Bufo in a category more akin to your average Chihuahua than to any other frog. Its remarkable dimensions firmly established it as the largest frog ever encountered, dwarfing even the Goliath frog, the current largest living species, by 30%. However, BAO's reign as the largest amphibian of all time encountered a significant challenge in 2014, when a study contested the initial size assessments, suggesting a more conservative weight of 7.3 pounds or 3.3 kilograms, making Bayabo comparable in size to the Goliath frog, but still retaining the title of largest frog, especially considering only scientifically described species. What makes this study intriguing is its revelation that while disputing the original estimates, it also observed that the largest beals of Bufo exhibited conspicuous openings in the skull, implying they had not reached their full growth potential. Thus, there remains hope that a colossal specimen may yet be discovered, settling the debate over its true dimensions. Fortunately, for its horned demon appearance, this prehistoric amphibian's stature was not its only claim to notoriety. In a truly diabolical fashion, B. Zabo sported two distinctive ridges or bumps above each eye, lending it an eerie and menacing aspect that would give pause to any potential adversaries. These ridges not only served as a warning sign to steer clear, but potentially played a crucial role in social identification and mating rituals. For who could resist the allure of devilish horns adorning a giant frog? Composed of bony, special anti-dinosaur armor, material, these horns were not exclusive to the head. 
They extended throughout the body in the form of small structures known as scutes. These scutes, covered in horns, bestowed upon Biabuo biological armor reminiscent of a turtle's shell, earning it the classification of a hyper afi frog, meaning it possessed significantly more bone density than typical creatures. While its armor was not as extensive as that of ankylosaurs or armadillos, it provided additional protection, a valuable asset considering it shared its habitat with literal dinosaurs. Combined with its substantial size, adults were undoubtedly formidable prey, challenging even the most adept hunters. Moreover, its jaw-dropping bite force was another aspect of B of Bufo's anatomy that struck fear into the hearts of its adversaries. Paleontologists, upon reconstructing its skull, discovered a formidable mouth that spanned over 6 inches or 15 centimeters when closed, indicating a robust build capable of delivering powerful bites. Subsequent tests estimated its bite force using living relatives, revealing that Babo could deliver a staggering 2,200 newtons of force, exceeding that of humans, pit bulls, gray wolves, and even leopards, proportionate to its size. This immense biting power enabled it to easily shatter bones, serving as a stark reminder to avoid sticking one's hand in its mouth at all costs. Its Carnivorous Diet Combined with its exceptionally wide mouth, hinted at a sinister feeding regimen that may have included juvenile dinosaurs. Although direct evidence of this remains elusive, paleontologists argue that its robust jaws were overkill for a typical frog's diet, suggesting it may have preyed upon larger meals, perhaps even those larger than itself. In addition to small or young dinosaurs, BZFO likely targeted snakes, turtles, other prey items, large fish, crocodiles, and birds, displaying opportunistic feeding behavior by not discriminating against smaller prey, such as invertebrates and small amphibians. To capture this diverse array of prey, BZFO likely relied on the quintessential feature seen in frogs. A tongue so supple. It's lethal, present in all 4,700 extant frog species. Equipped with a powerful tongue that could be projected and retracted with remarkable speed, the true magic lay in its softness, being one of the softest biological materials ever tested, enabling it to ensnare prey effortlessly. Complementing this was its saliva, possessing non-Newtonian properties that transformed upon contact with prey, becoming six times stickier than honey, ensuring a firm grip upon impact. Armed with its tongue, saliva, and formidable bite, Babo was a formidable predator in the diverse ecosystem of Cretaceous Madagascar. Yet unfortunately, its ferocious temperament might have made encounters even more perilous. Scientists have drawn parallels between Biabfo and the African bullfrog in terms of ecological role, suggesting it may have exhibited territorial and aggressive behavior, attacking anything roughly its size or smaller. However, its bulkiness likely limited its agility, impeding swift movements and necessitating ambush tactics to close in on prey. Consequently, it likely frequented areas near water bodies where potential prey was compelled to venture. This hypothesis finds support in the distribution of its remains, with most bones discovered in habitats and climate. Environments characterized by rivers and floodplains. Nevertheless, Cretaceous Madagascar also experienced semi-arid conditions with harsh dry seasons. Despite the challenges, the island teemed with life and diversity, boasting a rich ecosystem that included a myriad of creatures such as dinosaurs like Majungasaurus, Rapetosaurus, Masiakasaurus, Rahonavis, Falat, an unnamed Titanosaur, and possibly Stegosaurs or Ankylosaurs. However, it was the non-dinosaur inhabitants that truly defined Madagascar's uniqueness with over 12 species of fish, crow sharks, serrat lamna, cradle lamna, pristiophorus, mahajonga, sucus, simos, sucus araripe, sucus ventana, adal ethereum, lini lizards, turtles, and three species of snakes, 
one of which exceeded the average size of an articulated python. Clearly, Madagascar was no sanctuary 70 million years ago, with myriad ferocious predators inhabiting its lands. However, from a paleontological perspective, how Beelzebufo proved South America and Madagascar were connected. Beelzebufo's presence on the island posed a compelling mystery. How did a purportedly South American frog find its way to Madagascar? Paleontologists proposed various explanations, with one of the most contentious being that BAO's existence implies a connection between Madagascar and South America approximately 80 million years ago. Without such a link, Bezuo's presence on the island remains inexplicable, as frogs cannot traverse saltwater. None of the frogs known from Mesozoic Africa were related to Bayabo, suggesting it did not migrate from there. Thus, the presence of Babo in Madagascar lends credence to the theory of a land bridge connecting South America to Madagascar, possibly via Antarctica. While this hypothesis remains contentious, Beelzebufo's discovery has sparked intriguing debates regarding ancient continental configurations. Regardless of its origins, Bebo was superbly adapted for life in Madagascar. The cause of its extinction. Thriving despite the formidable challenges posed by its environment. However, its reign came to an abrupt end approximately 66 million years ago courtesy of a devastating asteroid impact that triggered mass extinctions worldwide. This cataclysmic event spelled the demise of possibly the largest frog ever to have existed. Yet Bebo's fate was not unique. Mainland Africa also harbored a plethora of unique and perilous creatures, some of which persisted until relatively recently. In Northern Africa, ancient Egyptians encountered a variety of now extinct animals, many of which were formidable in their own right. Madagascar and mainland Africa alike were lands of extreme life and danger, characterized by diverse ecosystems and fierce competition for survival. Ultimately, the discovery of Beelzebufo is not only a journey through time and space, but also a giant step forward in understanding the evolution of our planet. But remember, even though they may be lost to the distant past, creatures like Beelzebufo are still the smallest parts of the grand story of the diversity and power of life on Earth. Let's continue to explore and expect that future discoveries will continue to open up new mysteries, shedding more light on the natural world around us. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos on our channel. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss any new content.